jumping back into it here. So today we have a two by four by eight, and we're gonna do a comparison between how it fits in the six six box, which is in this um, in this AT4 here, and, and they're both the refreshed AT4s. Um, so this one has a six six box, and then the blue one has the five eight box. So we're just gonna show you if you had lumber, if you're trying to transport your lumber, how it's gonna fit and what you're gonna to need to do. So with this one, there's a couple things you can do. Obviously you have the tailgate down. Um, that's your first thing to do, not the safest. Really, if you have a lot of it, it might start uh, it might start slanting up and then it might start sloping back. So one thing you could do is you could lift up this here. Now the problem with this is it doesn't lock. So this is just free here. So you can't lock it. Um, the wood would kind of have to be right up against it to hold it. But you do have that as an option. That's one. You could, um, if you wanted to, you could put it up here through the multi-pro. And let me see if I can just... Okay. So you could do this as well. And obviously, with put it up like that and that's actually perfect to hold it up and that way it will not go anywhere and again this is an eight foot um, piece here and this is a six six box so with the multi pro out, it fits perfect and it holds it up and that way it won't go anywhere so that's one of your options so guys after the we're using the multi pro when the tailgates up with an eight foot piece of lumber in a six six box you can actually fit um them them diagonally in the box now if you have a lot of them won't be as easy because you do have the handle here um and a lot of them once you start stacking them up straight you got the handle they won't necessarily go straight you can only fit so many um before the tailgate will close but if you do have a few of them that's an option there um, like i showed you by putting up the multi pro and then your last one is also what I showed you when you put the tailgate up and then the multi-pro comes down. That's probably ideal, really, but if you just have a few pieces, um, you could definitely put them sideways like this. Now, moving over to the blue AT4 and the 5.8 bed. You guys can see it is an eight foot piece, so it comes out to there. It's an eight foot piece. We'll try the diagonal first. You guys can see it's diagonal you can obviously see it won't fit so you won't be able to do that um, now again we'll try with the so if it's straight back you can see it doesn't even fit in here properly so really you're only left with one option and that is to use the multi pro Like this you could have them obviously sticking out like this isn't an issue uh, because they're not going to fall out you could just keep them um, however many pieces you have you can keep them sticking out like this just to show you we will put up this you can see it really doesn't do anything it just lifts it a little bit higher if you want more of an angle um, but again it doesn't lock so it shouldn't fall but you have that as an option as well yeah, it would be so much nicer if this locked for you, but... Yeah, it's a shame, really, but um, you do have that as an option. So really, in your in your if you have a 5.8 bed, a short uh, short box truck, you are looking at, for lumber, for 8-foot pieces of lumber, you are going to be having to do this a lot um, because it just won't fit any other way. Or you could just put the tailgate down and have them stick out the back and tie them down. Um, but if you didn't want to tie them down, this is what you are looking at for the 5.8 uh, box on your truck. So guys, that'll wrap it up between the comparison between the 6.6 box and the 5.8 box with an 8 foot piece of lumber. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, let me know if you've been transporting any, how you've done it, um, if you've had to tie them down, if you have a lot of pieces. Um, but that will do it. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think of the video. Um, let us know if there's any other ways that you found 
have worked for you in transporting um, any type of material. But that'll do it, guys. We will see you all in the next one.